All right, Bolo Buddies, we are about to go into the Goodwill bins. This is the unseen footage from the challenge that I did with Dumpster Diva, the scavenger hunt where I had to go in and find 12 items. I found some awesome stuff, but what I didn't show you is what I'm about to show you. 35 minutes of goodness of digging in the bins. I found some Bolos. I found some awesome plush, so let's get started. All right, this is what I walked into. Plush, I absolutely love finding plush. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, as I stated, this is the unseen footage from the scavenger hunt with Dumpster Diva. Go sub her up. She is incredible. I will link her down below. So I listed my 12 items from the challenge immediately, and I got that video out to you guys. Then I listed the plush somewhere in between, and I held on to the hard goods until just last month. I've just been so busy, and I have not gotten to them. So... There's um, an assortment of items in this video as far as time frame of when they were listed. I'm going to be popping up screen shares of all the items that I picked up that are listed currently. And I'm also going to pop up screen shares of my sold items. I did list that anything that was like a Halloween costume, I listed immediately and those sold super fast. So we're going to see those as well. I did find some Build-A-Bear and this horse sold almost like really, really fast for $18. I can't remember how fast, but I did pick up some Build-A-Bear and there was a grail. And if you go and watch the main video from the scavenger hunt, you can see what that grail is. It has not sold yet. I have it priced high. I talk about all of the different comps and stuff in that other video. Definitely go check it out. And please go subscribe to Dumpster Diva. She has an incredible Goodwill Bins uh, channel, just incredible. Picked up a ton of plush, and all of these plush items were not seen in that other video. So the footage in the first video is different from the footage in this video. I cut all of this out. So let me know in the comments if you see something that you would have picked up that I missed. Um, basically, you can just timestamp it down in the comments, and then everybody can go down to the comments and look at that and it will help everybody learn what to look for. This is a costume, $23, sold super fast on Poshmark. Now, I put those costumes on Poshmark because they are heavy, um, and it was cheaper to ship them on Poshmark than eBay. Another Build-A-Bear bunny I threw in there. For some reason, I didn't grab this Build-A-Bear. I don't know if the tag had writing on it or what was going on there, but I left that one behind. I am sure I left money in the bins, for sure. There was just so much plush, and it was fantastic. It was fantastic. I love finding plush. This little guy sold really quick. It was a little chihuahua, and I took a best offer of $18 on that. Probably could have held out for full asking price, but the offer came in pretty quick, and I just went ahead and said yes. All right. That was a Shopkins, I think. I did not pick that one up. Let me know how you guys do a Shopkins plush. Should I have grabbed it or not? This little bear I left behind. It did have the original tag, but um, it was a St. Jude's bear. Has anybody sold those items before? I'm not really sure if those how those work, if uh, they're donation or what exactly. That was another Build-A-Bear. I left that one behind as well. I did find this awesome knit crochet doll, and she... Uh, She's like a rag doll, but she had all this information on it. So I just put that in the listing. The only place I could find it was on Facebook. So I don't really, I'm not really sure on that doll, but it is super, super well-made and very, very cool. Oh, somebody threw that back in and I grabbed it, but I didn't grab it. Should I have grabbed that bunny? Oh my goodness. So many things. And I am learning so much about plush. I just keep learning. This is a Boyd's. Uh, this one's actually a harder to find item so I did price that one a little higher and it still had the original tag so we're going to move along here into some hard goods and um, I'm just going to kind of tell you guys what I picked up and uh, what I didn't pick up sometimes you will see me put things in my cart 
and they will stay there and then I will comp them out and put them back. So um, not everything that I put in my cart do I end up walking out the door with. So keep that in mind. I try to pop up the screenshots to help everybody learn. I think I picked this up and I wanna say I got it home and it didn't work. Yep, saying that made me remember that I took the battery cover off and I am selling that separately to try to make my money back for that item. Would you guys have picked up that shoe that teaches kids how to lace? Maybe I should have picked that up. I did leave it behind. All right, we're just kind of digging here. I don't know if that was like scrapbooking stuff. Maybe I should have picked that up. It wouldn't have been very expensive. And I know a lot of people do scrapbooking. Hmm, might have left some money on the table there as well. All right, we are going to keep digging here. Thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Courtney, and I basically talk about bolo items on this channel, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. I would love for you to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. This here I picked up. Somebody ordered it, and they canceled their order. Um, I can't remember why, but I relisted that. This here, I took a best offer of $27 plus shipping, and that bunny sold fast. I don't know what was special about it, but somebody wanted it, and they wanted it quick. A lot of times, the ones that have the sewn eyes instead of like the hard eyes, those uh, get picked up more often because people like babies and stuff like that or animals, they don't want the hard eyes. This right here was from Kmart. I don't know. It was a humongous bunny. I probably should have grabbed it. Um, I'm kind of kicking myself watching this back, especially since Easter um, is right around the corner. But I did find this little clothespin doll and super cute. Couldn't find one exactly like it. I think it's probably artisan handmade. And I went ahead and listed that kind of high. So we'll see how things go. I'm not sure... Um, when this video will be posted. I have been cranking out some Goodwill Bins videos for you guys. So um, this may post after Easter. I'm getting them all scheduled. Now this right here is a Build-A-Bear, Friends to Be. I have never heard of it. And they actually sell for decent money. However, I sold mine too cheap because the person messaged me and they're like, I think the belly button is missing. Well, it wasn't the belly button. It was a picture of the back that I was showing and they thought it was the belly button and I didn't have a picture of the front showing. So we both assumed because I didn't go look that the belly button was missing and that was an international sale. So I guess include a picture of the belly button if you uh, list one of those items. So funny. Um, either way, still sold it. I think for, it was $21. This is just a little cheese spreader mouse knife. I thought it was kind of cute. Went ahead and picked that up. That is available in my eBay store. And some of these items are on Poshmark and Mercari. Some of them are not. I'm cross-posting when I can. Um, I do use List Perfectly to cross-post. I start my items on eBay because that is my main platform, and that is where I sell the most. And then I cross-post to Mercari and Poshmark when I have time. I use List Perfectly for that. There is a demo video down below that shows you how to list from eBay to the other platforms, and it also shows you how to use the catalog. So you can list directly into the catalog, and then you can cross post to, I think, I don't know if there's like eight to 10 different platforms now that are available through List Perfectly. It's absolutely incredible. So definitely check out that demo video down below. If you check it out and it looks like something you would be interested in using, um, you can use coupon referral code BOLO Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. All right, look at my cart. Oh my goodness. So uh, most of that is in this video, but some of that footage is in the other video that I showed you before. Those were replacement game pieces that I picked up. They were little Marvel, the Hulk figure, and uh, they were pretty cool, actually. I had to use Google Lens to figure it out. And I do have a video on how to use Google Lens. Google Lens is free. I highly recommend you add it as an app on your phone because when you're outsourcing, you can take a picture of the item and it will pull it up on Google Lens for you. This right here, I went ahead and put over on my Whatnot Buy It Now section. And I have a video about Whatnot and it tells you how to use Whatnot um, in a different way to make more money. So definitely check that out. I will link it down below as well. I am Bolo Buddies over on Whatnot, 
And there is a link down in the description. If you use that link to join Whatnot, you can um, get $15 of free money to shop. So definitely use that referral link down below and check out that video because if you're already on Whatnot, it's something you can do to make more money. And if you're not on Whatnot, it may convince you to get on Whatnot because you can use Whatnot as a marketplace. And that is the, the little hint. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna keep digging here. Um, Lots and lots of stuff. I picked up so many items. I did look at this. My husband and I, uh, we still watch DVDs. We're, we have a DVD player. We have a VHS player. I go to so many garage sales and I go to the Goodwill bins that I am constantly picking those things up for like a quarter and 50 cents. And that's just what we choose to do. Um, we like the old school method. So I do. we do have cable, of course, and uh, just regular TV. But we don't pay for like HBO or Netflix or what are all those crazy things. I don't even know what any of them are. So I'm so behind. Um, but anyway, we like the good old fashioned DVD and VHS most recently. He brought home a VHS player. I'm like, you have a VHS player? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. So now I'm picking up VHS. So those things will sell. If I'm at the bins, I will pick up DVD and VHS that are sealed, depending on what they are. I did look through this. I don't know if I should have got it. You guys let me know down in the comments. Has anybody sold one of these sharks before? I felt like I would have to test it. And then I thought about maybe parting it out, but I ended up just leaving it behind. All right, let's see what else we can find here in the bins. Um, I have picked up curlers before. Uh, I have sold them like uh, replacements. I have sold them in the container. I have heard that they do really well over on Poshmark from other resellers. So uh, something to think about. I don't sell a ton of curlers. I wish I would have got these pencils looking back now. They look pretty cool. Um, they look vintage, but I don't know. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. For some reason, I put them back. But if you guys are not on Poshmark and Mercari, I have referral links down below for those as well. If you use the link to join Poshmark, you'll get $10 to shop. If you use the Mercari link, I'll tell you in a minute, but I did pick up this wifey cup and it still had the original tag on the bottom. So I don't think that was ever used and that is still available and it is super cool. If anybody is a wifey and needs a mug, my eBay store link is down below. Make me an offer. Um, this is a Lord of the Rings it was incomplete, unfortunately. I decided to part that out. But back to Mercari. If you use my Mercari link, you will get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop once you sell $100 worth of stuff on the platform. So that's $30 in free money. And I like to source on Mercari. So just a little tip for those of you out there that um, are not on Mercari, it's a great platform to find items to resell on eBay. Just a little tip. All right, we're gonna keep digging here. I like to source in a lot of places. Whatnot is also a great place to source. You guys are gonna see in my What Sold videos some items that I've recently purchased on Whatnot and flipped for a, for a profit. You'll also see items that I have bought from Wholesale and flipped for a profit. There's a link for Wholesale down below also, and you get a $10 credit for wholesale if you use my referral link down below. So all those referral links down below, most of them give you something if you use them. So yes, I do get a kickback. In most cases, it's a small kickback, but like uh, Mercari and Poshmark, I get money to shop just like you do. So always appreciated when you guys use my links because I like to shop on those platforms. So check out those links down below. All right, should I have picked up this? I have never seen that series. I'm guessing it's like a series, and I know some of those do really well. I probably should have scanned that. It had a barcode. It would have been really easy to scan, but I didn't. So you guys let me know if I missed a bolo. And again, I'm looking forward to going down and looking at the comments to see what you guys would have picked up that I walked past. This is a little Christmas ornament. I grabbed this. Lots of bread and butter items. You guys, I am a bread and butter reseller. I like to pick up the smalls. I do have this. I have not listed it yet. I don't know why I sat it to the side. I think I'm gonna do a video on it on my reseller testing Bolo products. 
Cat Feelin' Thrifty bought this from me. She bought these lights and they are replacement lights. And um, I did a preview video of some stuff that I had a sale on whatnot and they were some things that didn't sell. And I invited my uh, viewers to make a bundle and message me privately. And then I put it on Poshmark. So that was the bundle that she made. Check out Cat Feelin' Thrifty. She has an awesome eBay store. I will link it down below. And she recently started a YouTube channel. So show her some love with a sub. You can see me picking up those trains. I always pick up those trains and I will put them in small lots. Some of them I list individually. So be careful with the Thomas the Train because some of them can go for $10 to $25 by themselves. The more common ones, I just lot those up. But I do pick up all small toys pretty much. If it's a small toy and I recognize it, I will grab it. Sometimes I make toy boxes. Here's an example. I sold that with another one and I actually sold it in a bundle. Somebody bought three separate listings off of eBay from me of individual Paw Patrol pups. So people can bundle when you list them individually. It's a great way to uh, get people to purchase more than one item. That was a sealed DVD. I pick up sealed DVDs all the time, no matter what. Even if it's not big money, I can scan it and it's an easy bread and butter, easy to list, easy to ship item. Imaginext, I always pick those up. A lot of times I will lot those as well, but some of them are valuable on their own. It's a lot of research and a lot of looking up, but once you start selling toys, you start to know what to look for. This is Chuck E. Cheese. Always pick up Chuck E. Cheese. This is just a bread and butter, but some of the old vintage Chuck E. Cheese can be a big money bolo. So keep that in mind if you ever see Chuck E. Cheese items. All right, we're gonna keep digging. Let me know your favorite thing to source at the bins. So I know a lot of people are strictly clothes. And the reason I know that is because when I go to my Goodwill bins, there are people that only stay in the clothes. They don't even come over to the hard goods. And then there's people like me who only stay at the hard goods. There's people that love the books. It's so great that everybody just sources differently. And I may be looking for hard goods like I look for toys. Other people may be looking for, I don't know, other types of hard goods. But I will pick up pretty much anything that I can sell. Um, I just really enjoy toys. And I've sold one of those rattles before, but that one um, had some fogging, so I left it behind. Maybe I should have grabbed these. I think they were like stationary, but I don't know if they were branded or not. Would you guys have picked up that stationary? I recently did a video on Terry uh, over from Mindful Recycle. If you guys are not subscribed to her, oh my goodness, she is incredible. I will link her down below. But she picked up stationary at a estate sale and... Oh my goodness, she hit the jackpot. I did list this pencil sharpener, not in great condition, so priced it a little low. But anyway, she got all of this stationery. I wanna say it was like 70 or 80 different stationery things, vintage Hallmark. One of them sold for over $500. So go check out that video. And again, I will try to remember to link it down below. Just an incredible find. If you don't know about vintage stationery, you definitely wanna watch that video because just unbelievable. All right, we are going to keep on digging. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments. I have been a reseller since 2005. This is my full-time job. I have been on YouTube for about four years, kind of started it um, on a whim. Just, I, I don't even know why I started YouTube, to be honest with you. It's not really my thing, <laughs> but it has become my thing, and now I absolutely love it. But I didn't even really watch YouTube when I started YouTube. So didn't really understand how it works. And just wanted to kind of go on and talk about bolos and things that I source and things that I sell. And that's how this all started. And now it's transformed into taking you guys to the Goodwill bins with me. I do thrift with me videos. Um, I feature other sellers. So I will... Um, go into someone else's store and share with you their solds. And they give me all the information, like where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So I'm basically teaching and learning. I'm learning also. And that was one of the reasons I wanted to start this also, 
is because I like to learn and this forces me to learn. So I feature um, my Facebook group members. I'll put up a post that says, share your best whatever month it is, bolo. And then everybody puts their bolos in the comments. And then I do a video featuring all those big money bolos. It is a fantastic way to learn, um, both for me and the viewers. So for you guys that have shared on those posts, thank you so much. And that is a monthly thing. It is uh, free to share a bolo on that post. And I just feature your bolo in the video and it's super cool. So check out those videos. I have what sold videos of items that I sell. I have bread and butter, which are the items that I sell for $35 or less. And then I also have my big money bolos, which are items that I sell at higher prices. So I kind of divide those separately. I also have what sold videos for Mercari and what sold videos for Poshmark. And I pretty much sell all hard goods on Poshmark and Mercari, unless it's an older listing. I do have a lot of older listings that are clothing because before I became a hard goods seller, I only sold clothing, which is hard for me to believe now because now it's really, really hard. It has to be something special for me to list clothing because I'm just not interested in it. Would you guys have picked up this stapler or would you have left it behind? I think I left it behind. I thought it was kind of cool, but then it got stuck and then it got unstuck. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you guys sell staplers. What is that? Hmm. This I picked up because I thought it was pretty cool and it's a 1979 keychain and on the back it tells all these things that happened in 1979. This is a um, windshield cover and for some reason I tried to find the listing and I couldn't find it so I will try again later but that should be available in my eBay store. Um, it, it's uh, like a windshield cover to keep the sun off your car and your dashboard. That's an Alex and Ani. I don't think I listed that yet, but I did list this 1928 necklace. I always do really well with the brand 1928, and that sold really quick for $15.50. This right here is a Night Before Christmas, and the illustrations, I believe, were by Mary Inglebright, which Mary Inglebright, I always pick up her stuff. I did pick up these little, um, they go on baby's milestone things, and I put that over in my whatnot, buy it now, so if you're interested in that, I'm trying to put some stuff over on Whatnot in the Buy It Now section, inexpensive items that are new old stock. All right, here we go. I got this Build-A-Bear. It sold on Mercari really fast for $22 and uh, free shipping on that. Here's another Boyd's plush. I did slow it down because I was just whipping through these and I couldn't pull the screenshots up quick enough. So these are all the other plush that I found that would not fit in my cart. Uh, I found three of those. Those are the Singamajigs. They are a bolo. Here's a little monkey, a patchwork monkey, and a horse. And now we're going to go over and you're going to see where I find the other two Singamajigs. And I took a best offer of $60 on all three of those. I so, well, one of my buddies just threw me uh, the third one. I'm like, you know, you just threw me a bolo. So sold those three for 60 bucks pretty quickly. All right, I picked up this Boyd's Bear Duck, just a bread and butter, and Ikea. I always pick up the Ikea. Some of the Ikea do better than others, but um, yeah. All right, this one I might be stretching a little. I've got this price really high, but I could not find any comps, and it is vintage, and it's a piggy bank, and I'm going to show it to you right now. It's a bunny rabbit. And again, because I could not find any comparables, I've got that priced at $77 or best offer. And we're just gonna see what happens. I will definitely entertain an offer, but on things that I can't find comps on, I will list those high um, because you never know. Pantyhose, if they're sealed, I'll pick them up. They're a nice bread and butter item. They're typically long tail. When I say long tail, that could be one or two years, maybe even longer. Um, I list it and forget it. And I, if you guys are new to my channel, you'll hear me say that all the time. I list it and forget it. I try not to touch my items over and over and over again, uh, because it just takes more time. Like I don't inventory. If for some reason my item disappears from eBay, 
I am not going to know about it unless I just happen to figure it out by seeing it and being like, oh, that's not on eBay. Um, but yeah, I don't do inventory. I don't take things out of my store and donate them. I leave everything listed. I have items that have sold after five to seven years. <laughs> uh, I do need to be more diligent about doing sell similar. Now, do I think you should do it every 30 days? No, I don't think that's necessary. Um, but I do have some things that have been listed for over three years that I could probably end and sell similar and get them more active in the algorithm. This looks like, a, is it a cupcake holder? Should I have got the cupcake holder? I don't know what brand it was, but, or is it eggs? Is it cupcakes or eggs? I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I'm thinking about it, but I didn't take it. Would you guys have picked that up? I know a lot of people do Tupperware and do really well with it. Here's another mask. Um, I went ahead and bought that. It, it hasn't sold. This little monkey actually surprised me. Comps were pretty good on that. It's a little pullback car. It's really, really cute. So again, all of my items are listed. I do have best offer on everything. And the majority of my items sell with best offer. I don't get offended by offers unless you offer me 99 cents or something ridiculous. Um, I had that happen the other day on like a $40 item. I'm like, 99 cents, are you serious? That was a Barbie dog. And that dog has little pups that come out of her. She's like a pregnant dog. And when you move her, the pups come out. But I didn't have the pups. So I am just selling her as a replacement dog. Here's another item that was new old stock that I put over on my whatnot. So if you guys are interested in any of those whatnot buy it now items, they are over there. And you can get that $15 of free money by using my, re my referral link to join whatnot. And if you want to sell on whatnot, I have a separate link down below. It's also a referral link. And it will tell them that Bolo Buddies sent you to join whatnot to be a seller. So it could increase your chances of getting accepted quicker. And I do know that certain categories, they're trying to um, build up. So one category right now that is newer is, I think, uh, like storage units. So that's kind of a one at this current time, but it's constantly changing. I think they just started a plush category. Um, I know one time they were doing kids clothing category. So if you get in there in some of the newer categories that aren't flooded, you're more likely to get accepted. But one thing I can recommend when you apply, do a video or take really good pictures of your inventory because that is a big determining factor on whether or not you get accepted. They want people over on whatnot that have a lot of inventory so that they can have a lot of sales. So um, anyway, that link's down below. I do have some videos on whatnot. There was somebody that bought a item on whatnot for $20 and they sold it on eBay for $995. And this was somebody that um, shared it with me on Instagram. And I'm like, oh my goodness, can I put that in a video? And they said, yes, absolutely. And you guys can check out that video. It's my most viewed video, um, probably because everybody was wondering if they were the whatnot seller that sold something for $20 that almost sold for 1000 Just absolutely crazy. So uh, anyway, we're going to keep digging here. I'm just kind of chit-chatting with you guys while I dig because nothing's really popping up right now that I have bought. Um, and put in my cart. I think I put this in my cart. I can't remember if I listed it or not. Um, sometimes I hold things to the side and I'll put them in small lots, but that might be in my store now that I'm watching this back. I do check um, colored pencils because some of the vintage colored pencils can do really well, even if they're not in the original packaging. All right. We're going to keep on digging here. Have you guys seen things that you would have picked up that I left behind? This was sealed. Ah, maybe I should have got that. It had a barcode, but for some reason I threw it back. So I'm guessing I scanned it and it didn't comp out well. I think it was maybe an audiobook. It may have even been cassette tapes. I usually don't pick up the cassette tapes. This is really cute. I don't know why I didn't pick that up. Does it have a name on it? Maybe that's why. Um, if I the stocking has a name on it. I typically leave it behind because those are going to be harder to sell because you have to find the person that wants the stocking 
and has that name, right? And that's a little bit difficult to do. Like that one says something. All right, now we're over here in the bags. And I have told you guys before that I usually wait until everybody leaves this section or until it at least slows down because this section, woo wee, I did find this Nintendo uh, DS Lite and it sold for parts. And it sold pretty quick, not too bad. It was a, a nice sale. I was happy to move that. And that was, I think, one of the items that was in my, um, it was a part of my 12 items that I picked up for the scavenger hunt. But I thought I would show it to you since it actually already sold. There's a couple items that sold um, that I have footage of that I included in this video. I think there's one more that I show you. So I added those in just so you guys could see that the item sold. I, is that for a dog? I think that was for a dog. So I just said dog, and I do say dog kind of funny. Somebody uh, in the comments, they're like, you say dog and brawl, weird. And I was like, I do kind of say brawl, like they got into a brawl. <laughs> oh, you guys will find out if you are new to the channel that I mispronounce everything. I'm really bad at pronunciation, so... Um, I apologize ahead of time. This is a Mr. Potato Head. I went ahead and grabbed that and got that listed. So that's available in my eBay store. That'll probably be a long tail item, maybe something that never sells. Who knows? You just got to find the right person that wants the item. And, you know, your item has to be priced right. I don't know what this Levi's was, but I'm thinking I probably should have looked at that a little better. I don't, it could have been vintage. Who knows? I just passed it on by, threw it to the side. Got some hangers down there. Does anybody source their hangers from the bins? I mean, who needs more hangers? Oh my goodness, I have so many hangers. I just uh, donated a ton of hangers because I am getting away from clothing. Um, so anytime I sell clothes, I've got all these extra hangers because I currently have things hanging on racks. And if you watch my reseller vlogs, you can kind of see how my inventory is set up. Um, just started doing reseller vlogs probably within the past couple, two months. All right, I found Chanel. No way. No way. No way. No way. It's definitely a fake, right? I hope it's a fake because I threw that bad boy back in. But you could see there it looks like it was uh, peeling. And I'm guessing that an authentic Chanel would not peel. This here is a Coach Mini crossbody. I did check with Rachel Strickland on that one. And she said it was authentic, so I went ahead and listed that. I listed this cute Do Not Disturb hat. It's available as well. There's also another Coach wallet that I pick up. And I was not sure about that when I sent Rachel pictures, and she was not sure either. So what I did is I just went ahead and sent that over to Rachel Strickland. That is her YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel is her name. And I, it's right here. I wasn't sure if it was real or not. So I mailed that to her. And I am going to let her look that over and she can decide if it's real or not. If it's real, she can sell it. If it's fake, she can use it in a video and cut it up or do whatever she wants. But she has a whole bunch of videos on her channel where she teaches you how to authenticate. I can't say that word. Authen ah. Anyway, she teaches you how to know if an item is real or not. So she will literally cut up purses to show you guys what to look for. So check out Rachel Strickland on YouTube. I will link her down in the description. All right, we're going to keep on digging here. Right now, I'm kind of looking for a bag for the scavenger hunt. I did end up finding something, and um, I'm going to show you another bag that ended up being damaged, and I've talked about this before. I parted it out, and I sold the strap. And I'm hoping that the strap covered the cost of the bag. I think it did. There's also a Juicy Couture item that I picked up. I don't know if it would have been a good Y2K item. Thinking maybe I should have grabbed it. I'm going to show it to you guys. You let me know what you think down in the comments. But um, I thought I would have been to it by now. But now it's going to be probably here in a minute or so that you'll see it. And I'll bring it up again. But just digging through the bags. A lot of people look through the bags for money. I don't typically do that. Um, I'm just really looking for any Bolo items. This is the Juicy Couture purse. 
Would that have been from the 90s or later? I'm feeling like it was probably later, but I'm also feeling like maybe I should have grabbed it. And then I'm going to show you the Vera Bradley bag. I looked this thing over, but I did not check the sides. And when I got home, that thing was ripped to shreds on the side. It was like it went through a shredder. So I took the strap off and I sold the strap. And it sold for $7.80 plus shipping. So I was happy with that. This Neopets also sold. It's a CD case. I sold that for $31 plus shipping. And always pick up anything Neopets. It does pretty well. And we are getting towards the end of the video. You're going to see some videos popping up and a subscribe button. I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And if you are, thank you so much for coming back. And click on one of those other videos. Check out some of the other types of videos I do because I have so much variety of different types of videos that I do. And I would love for you to check something else out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.